Hi everyone. Um, so it was it's punch some week. Obviously no racing. Um, so we put together a few questions uh, that people asked on Twitter. I uh, hope you enjoyed the answers. Uh, be as truthful and as honest as I can. Um, uh, uh, we're going to start with uh, Matt asks any plans to train once you have finished in the saddle. Um, train dragons maybe uh, I've got four of them out there and uh, they're behaving like dragons at the moment so uh, but no um, no real intent I would love I love the idea of it but um, I don't think uh, I'd be able to, to handle it um, so maybe unless it's training a couple of homebreds for point of points um, I would love to set up a training yard but just the cost of it and everything at this stage of my career I think I'd be better off sticking to uh, to buying and selling a few and I like breeding enjoy breeding horses so that would be the extent of it. Um, next question, uh, can ask, tell us something about yourself that not many people know. Well, people in the game or people who know me probably know, but I've actually only ever been drunk twice in my life. Uh, I don't drink at all. Um, so once was when I was in, um, uh, I went to agricultural college for a year and uh, I got very drunk one night. And uh, another time was maybe about, 10 or 12 years ago, uh, I broke uh, my wrist and I was off and uh, the urge took me to uh, to take a couple of drinks and they have the only two times I've ever uh, taken alcohol. So that's it. Uh, the, next, uh, the next one is uh, from Dave. Dave asks, do you read racing biographies, novels? If so, which is the best you have read, please? So not particularly, I'm not an avid reader. Um, I have read Mick Fitz's book, uh, Paul Carberry's, um, Timmy Murphy's. I, I've read uh, Ruby's and, and all them, but you know, they're all good reads um, for anyone that's interested in, in horse racing, but not on a regular basis, I don't. Uh, next one, uh, Freddie H asks, Peter Crouch famously said, if I, don't, if I hadn't been a footballer, I'd have been a virgin. What would you have been if you weren't a jockey? Um, when I was younger, I really liked uh, uh, the idea of uh, being an actor or or performing uh, to some extent. Um, so that was something that that I would have liked to have done. Um, never really got the opportunity to do it, but I did like it when I was younger. And uh, another one, my dad was a mechanic and uh, I quite liked that fiddly, messing with around with my hands and uh we also i also grew up in a farm so you know somewhere along the lines of something like that but uh, there's three for you anyway um so uh ben k i can only imagine it is the one and only ben keith asks any three dinner guests dead or alive who you inviting and what you cooking so uh the three guests um would be Che Guevara, Sir Henry Cecil, and we'll have to go with Ben to pay for it. So, um, and what am I cooking? I am cooking uh, seafood starter, seafood chowder for starter, um, for main course, uh, fillet steak uh, with all the trimmings, and more, most importantly for dessert, a uh, simple apple crumble with cream and tea and a cup of tea to wash it down uh, really is my ideal dinner so we keep rolling on um, the next question is from raised by puffin hmm. during lockdown how helpful ha how helpful have you been around the house cooking cleaning ironing Davy, are you a modern man raised by puffin I am not a modern man I uh, Cut the grass. I do all them things outside. My wife does pretty much everything. She's a marvelous woman. Um, I take the kids most mornings. I go work on the farm, and they come back, and uh, I um, try and throw myself down. To be honest. Uh, the next question is uh, Dave S. Have you picked up any new skills or hobbies during lockdown? Uh, not ne necessarily. I've uh, been pretty busy. Uh, the one thing I have learned is uh, we're covering a lot of mares and uh, spending a lot of time at the vets and things. So 
picking up small little bits here and there and um, just trying to learn a bit more about the breeding industry and the game and uh, the health and welfare of the mares. Uh, next is John or Jason D 1978 if you could ride one race again what would it be um, maybe flip the coin maybe the RSA um, last year on Delta work um, I was in the right position I was jumping poorly and I ended up in the wrong position I got there way too early um, uh, I would have just let him stay where he was and follow the boys away um, if I had my time back but uh, unfortunately I don't um, the next one is dead uh, dead space 8008 asks if you could ride the winner of one flat race what would it be look I suppose everybody talks about the Epsom Derby um, you know it is the pinnacle of the flat the flat year uh, so it would be the Epsom Derby or the Ark um, you know there's some fabulous very very good horses have won the Ark I don't think I don't think I don't think the Ark or the Epsom Derby is ever won by a bad horse so uh, either one of them would would do me uh, Cam B asks what's the best horse you've ridden in your career uh, that is like naming my favorite child which I uh, they're all my favourite. Um, so I've ridden so, so many very, very good horses. Uh, Solwit was very good to me. Mansoni, oh, Lord Windermere, and the man himself, Tiger Roll. What he has achieved really is, is is fantastic. So I'm just lucky to have ridden so many good horses all the way through. So, you know, you could really take your pick of any of the Grade One winners, Festival winners, any of them. You know. They're all very, very good horses, uh, and by Allen is the latest one, but um, he still has a bit go yet. Right, so uh, last couple of questions uh, from Andrew N. My beloved presenting Percy seemed to be still travelling when tipping up the second last in the Gold Cup. Where do you think he'd have finished if he'd stayed up? Well, it was still going okay. I was just ready to, to pull the trigger and let him go. Um, hard to know. The winner was a very impressive winner on the day. Um, I was going probably as well as Mona Lee, so whether I had to finish in front of, behind him or alongside him, was somewhere around there. I felt I would have fought out some degree of the finish anyway. I still had a bit left in the tank. Unfortunately, we all know that that hill would swallow the Titanic and uh, we didn't get the chance to find out. There's always next year. Next one is Andrew T. What horse are you most looking forward to riding in Novice Hurdles next season? Jamie Codd or Lisa Neil would probably be the best person to answer that. Um, I'm not um, quite sure. It all depends which one of them is going to improve the most. And Gordon had a nice bunch of bumper horses there um, from multiple different owners. Jigginstown had some lovely horses. And uh, so any one of them, you know, that I get the chance to throw my leg over, I'd be delighted. Uh, the next question is, Dan C asks, other than Anne by Allen, which horse are you most looking forward to next season? Um... I suppose there's any amount of them. Um, any horse that's going to improve the most. Um, chosen mate was good in the Grand Annual. You know, he was a novice. Um, a bit unfortunate I didn't get to see out the rest of the novice season. Uh, I felt that he could have been competitive around the entry and, ch and, and punches down in them novice races. But it wasn't to be. So um, maybe, maybe he likes a chosen mate if he can make the step up next year. It'd be very interesting. And we're going to finish up with a quick fire round. Uh, lager or cider? If I had to choose cider, couldn't drink lager. Uh, Chinese or Indian? Uh, not mad about either. Chinese. Football or cricket? Cricket. Box sets or movies? Movies. Uh, beach holiday or city break? Beach holiday. Pub or wine bar? Pub. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Uh, winter or summer? Winter for racing, summer for holidays. Batman or Superman? Batman. McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Salt and vinegar or cheese and onion? Cheese and onion. Messi or Ronaldo? 
Messi, Federer or Rafa, Federer. Thank you. Hopefully to see you soon. And just remember, stay home, stay safe. And uh, we look forward to getting back in the saddle and uh, enjoying some, some racing. Thank you.